Welcome back to NCAA Season 93. At syempre, dito pa rin yan sa SNA. Yun ang umuna nga sa laban ang San Sebastian sa laban sa Letran with a score of 45-38. At syempre, alam naman natin na talagang maraming magagaling. Kaya naman panoorin natin ang top 10 plays. High-flying highlights at game-winning defense. Narito na ang top 10 plays ng ikatlong linggo sa second round ng NCAA Season 93. Simulan natin sa number 10. We are 45 seconds away from notching win number 13. A dagger! Bang! 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 Isang big-time play mula sa big-time score ng LPU, JC Marcelino with a clutch three-point bomb. So number nine. Jerome Garcia posting up Mendoza. A step back by Jerome Garcia. <laughs> Lista mo na. Nagpakita ng ala James Harden move ang sharpshooter ng EAC. Jerome Garcia with a step back jumper. Para naman sa number eight. Nico gets it back. Some action we're seeing here. Casas, Sadiwa, three on one. Sadiwa, difficult shot, pinali pa sa ere. Umupo sa ere ang alta swingman na si Flash Sadiwa para sa isang high-flying circus shot. At number seven. Two and a half minutes remaining in our opening period. Mendoza with a Euro step. JRU's Jed Mendoza passes not one, not two, but three Red Lions with a fancy Euro step for the layup. Dieter Mann's at number six. Here's De La Cruz. What a fake. Look out below, Lervin. Isang swabbing pasa mula kay Levy De La Cruz para sa slam dunk king ng NCAA, Gong Flores. At number five. Pugarin, nabitawa ng bola. Here comes De La Cruz. Throws it up ahead, Cagliete with a slam dunk. Isang hato move mula sa 27-point career-high game ni Michael Cagliete. A vicious one-handed jam on the break. Sa number four. Sabi po nga, good spark plug para kay Coach Egay Makaraya. Kalisaan yan ang gusto ni Michael. Dumaan sa butas ng karayom ang alas ng San Sebastian. Michael Kalisan with the end one baseline reverse. So number three. Sila nakakuha ng buwelo nung nakaforce na sila ng turnovers, nakakuha ng sunod-sunod na baskets. That's the run that they were waiting for. Slicing and dicing through the lane. Hindi napigilan ng apat na bantay ang salaksak ni Tate Teodoro. Para naman sa number two. Here comes Salado. Salado, lumusot na naman. Switching hands, Kentoy Salado. Rumachada ang number one scorer ng NCAA. It's Kentoy Salado with some magic. Lumusot na naman. Switching hands, Kentoy Salado with a highlight play. At para sa ating number one play. Mendoza, pinigay dito kay Garcia. Garcia, block! Block na! Mula kay Lurvin Flores! Isa na namang Arellano Chief na nagbabalik sa ating countdown. Ang slam dunk king na si Gong Flores with a possible block of the season. Could be the defensive play of the game. Sino kaya ang makakasama sa ating hard court on a roll next week? Abangan ang mga top plays dito na sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. And there you have it. Ako, sobrang intense talaga ng mga laro. Once again, mga kapamilya, don't forget to use our hashtag, hashtag NCAA Season 93 at hashtag NCAA Strong para sa ating question of the day. And ang ating question, ano nga ba ang song na gusto mong i-dedicate sa paborito mong player? There you have it. And of course, pwede ka rin mag-live streaming. Puta ka lang sa sports.abs-cbn.com.
ncbn.com/livestream/ NCAA. Magbabalik ang NCAA season 93 dito lang yan sa SNA. We're back inside the Pillow and Plank V Center in San Juan City. At the half between San Sebastian and Letran, the Stags up by 745-38. This lead was uh, once up to 17 points. Now Letran was able to chip that lead, outscoring San Sebastian 27-20 in the second quarter. Andre Felix, Mikey Reyes. Mike's in the first quarter was all San Sebastian 25-11. In the second, with the help of Jeric Balanza, uh, Bong Quinto for Letran eh, na ibaba nila ang kalamangan dito. So it's been really a tale of two quarters. Sabi mo nga, nung first quarter, San Sebastian ang naghari nung second naman. Letran, field goal percentage, parehas na mataas, 52% for Letran thanks to that 77% quarter wow. nung field goal quarter nung second at 44% naman para sa San Sebastian not too far behind ng three-point three point field goals nila. Eight already for San Sebastian. Four during that first three to the second quarter. One of five pa lang para sa Letran. Bench points na dyan, of course, sina Jeric Balanza and Bong Quinto, 27-13 only for... Uh, 27 kasi nga sina, sina Alfred Gayosa pala. My bad. Ang gumagawa para sa San Sebastian, only 13 para naman sa Letran. Pero nung second quarter nga, itong si Bong Quinto had 12 points. Balanza had 9. So 21 points out of the 23. Eh, yung dalawang players nga ang nagbigay ng first quarter naman. 27% lang ang Letran from the field. Kaya San Sebastian naman ang naghari nung quarter na iyon. Katulad ng mga ganitong three-point baskets. One of the seven coming from Alin Bolanadi. Alin Bolanadi also helping the cause of San Sebastian off the bench. He is the leading scorer ng Stags. The only San Sebastian Stag in double figures with 10. Quinto and Balanza, you did mention the two players for the Knights in double figures. We begin the third quarter. Letran in navy blue. San Sebastian in their bright yellow uniforms. The Knights will go with Tommy Iraria, JB Calvo, Bong Quinto, Christian Balagasa, and Reyna Batak, the same five that Jeff Napa started with in this game. Kapitang kita na wala sa ating leading scores was that man, this man. Hindi pala binigay si Reyna Batak. Only had four points nung first half. One of three pa lang from the field. So alam natin, alam naman natin that he will take a lot more shots dito sa ating second half. Saka naman sa San Sebastian, it's Costello, Capobres, David, Kalisan, and that man, JM Calma. Calma, trap, brings it out to David for three. Two small foul. Beyond Alvin Capobres. Good box out there by Bong Quinto. First personal ni Cabobres, there's Ray Nambatak. He is vocal, he will head to the pros after his final year. He will join the draft. I think he's submitted already his application. That's right. To turn pro, alam naman natin, pro ready na itong si Ray Nambatak. It's just really uh, up to kung sino pipik sa kanya and where he can make a name for himself. That's right. Difference to Calvo, but he wants to lead his team to the final four in his final year. Calvo for three, wala offensive board. Nibalagasay, panibagong 14 seconds for Letran. Calvo off to Quinto, back to Ray Nambatak's hands. The Stingray off to Quinto, anticipated by Calma. Tumatakbo si Costello at si Calisan na tumuloy tuloy. Again, the length of San Sebastian on full display on that defensive. Set galing kay Calma. Ito, isa pa ito, mahaba dito, athletic. And all the way to the basket goes Michael Calisan on the other end. 6.8 steals per game at San Sebastian. Another turnover by Letran. Got David. And that is what San Sebastian does. Their defense will turn it to instant offense. And the lead is back up to double digits, 49 to 38. Balikan natin, San Sebastian doing what they do best. Turning defense into offense. That one from Calisan and then Capobres over to Jason David. And that forced Jeff Napa to call a timeout. San Sebastian currently leads the NCAA in steals per game. Close to seven 
As we take a look at baby Chloe and happy, happy, happy birthday to Ms. Dintin Santiago Manaban, wife of assistant coach Chico Manaban. <laughs> look at baby Chloe. Maroon na ng umiti. Mamasanay ka na. <laughs> Dapat lang. Oh, yung magulang mo medyo big There names. There is Chico, Chico Manaban. Of course, uh, <laughs> also used to play basketball. And then, did did Santiago Manabat, uh, one of the volleyball players, have a name for herself here in our country. Sister of Jaja Santiago, did did. Grabe din yan, lalo na sa, sa gitna. The middle blockers, the Mayra Plusutan, si did did. In the meantime, Alisaan. That's kind of saying. At Kalisan did flop. Let's see kung ano yung uh, tawag dito. And I believe natawagan din ng technical foul itong si Michael Kalisan for trying to trip one of the Letran players while he was on the floor. You know, Anna did mention earlier that uh, Kalisan did have uh, what sportsman like house uh, oh. last game. Uh, Nanigate. Tanggal. Na, na, na void. Yeah. Na void. Tinawag yung manager ni Vinny. Ayan, ayan. So it was a technical foul for flopping. Let's see Michael Kalisan. Unang in-announce natin Coliseum Barker. Technical foul called on Michael Kalisan for faking a foul. Or for more simpler terms, for flopping. For flopping. Calvo will take the technical free throw. So, so that basket with, will count for, for Bong Pinto. Oh, it doesn't count. So that would have been big if that counted. Although JP Calvo missed the free throw, pero mga kuha nila yung bola. Tingnan natin, mga score dito ang letran. JP, I'll make a Jeff Napa. Signaling the play. He wants to be executed here. His team down by 11. Nueva si, sa 38 ang ating talaan. David will be charged Only with the foul. Okay, Makaya will call a timeout. Eight, the Mangang on say, and San Sebastian. Welcome back to NCAA Season 93. Dito parin yan sa SNA. At syempre kasama ko nga ang isa sa mga members ng Team B ng San Sebastian. Walang iba kundi si Kim. Hi, Kim. Hello. Hello, po. Ayan, syempre, sino ba, sino ba ang pinakakaklose mo sa team ng San Sebastian? Um, si Alvin Baichong po. Si Alvin. So, paano ba? Ano ba yung mga bonding na ginagawa nyo? Um, kumain sa gabi. Kumakain sa gabi? Ano pa? Bukod sa kumakain sa gabi, bakit sa gabi, sa gabi lang talaga? <laughs> Yun lang po yung time namin na magkasama kami. Yun lang. So, masa develop ang friendship nyo? Um, opo. Kung may message ka sa kanya, anong message mo? Um, Galingan niya lang lagi para madami kaming kakainin lagi. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Andre? Okay, okay. Salamat, Ana. Kitang-kita naman sa kanon. Iba ito yung may pinapakain ng gabi. <laughs> Pwede yung, yun ang sisihin ni Coach Egay. Bakit? <laughs> Busok pag natulog ko si Bait yun. <laughs> Busok. In the meantime, back to the action. Hinagis na lamang ni Quinto. Nakaku ni Balagasa yung rebound. Back to ng Batak. Off to Calvo. Free for three. Yes, para sa tres. Para kay JP Calvo. Good recognition there coming from Ray ng Batak. Na hindi pa masyado nakaka-score dito. Pero hinanap niya yung open man, JP Calvo, for that three-pointer. Again, effort coming from San Sebastian. Alvin Capobres with a put back there. Second basket in this game. It's back up to 10. Letran has been playing catch-up all throughout this game. They haven't led. Quinto. The kick out. Nabasa ni Jason David. Another steal for the Stags. Costello. Nice block by Bong Quinto. Tumatakbo na naman. Kumita by Balanzers. Quinto now on the attack. 
Ah, karaming mintis na rin si Bong Quinto. Nung mga layup na ganun, medyo binibaby niya. David will spot up. Fire three. And Anza grabs another rebound. And Anza. Gets a smaller Ryan Costello. The spin, the kick out to JP Calvo. Calvo. A meet in the screen in Balagasa. Another three by Calvo. That time was short. Ball back to San Sebastian. Long ating Vivo, perfect shot, perfect selfie. The drive and kick by Reynam Batak. JP Calvo. Really have to love the emergence of the JP Calvo. The Oh, yeah. Calvo, the past two seasons since the Ant-Man left Edong Letran. Talaga nag-step up ito si J.P. Calvo knowing that he is now the main point guard of Letran. He is also their best three-point shooter from Letran. Averaging uh, well, 41% from beyond the arc. David to Costello, corner three. And he knocks it down from that spot. Nice recognition naman galing kay David taking it to the basket knowing na nandun sa corner ito si Ryan Costello and Ryan ready to fire from the corner for that three-point basket. First basket yun ni Ryan Costello. Malanza. A double by Calisan. Balagasay for the shoot. Calvo has it. What a moving screen by Balagasay. Offensive foul. Another turnover para dito sa Letran. Good move there coming from David, getting Reyna Bata off his feet and driving, attracting the help defense of J.P. Calvo, leaving. Itong si Ryan Costello open for the corner bucket. At ito, 13 na naman. Ang lamang ng San Sebastian, biggest lead nila dito, 17. They can still extend this 13-point lead with this possession. 11 turnovers para sa Letran in this game. Kalisan off to Costello. Guarded by Nambata, Costello. Lumapit. Binaba kay Calma, wala. Mapupunta kay Calvo ang bola. Iahagis kay Quinto, nakakuha ni Kalisan. And a bump and a foul, whistle blown. Will be charged on that man, Ray Nambatak, his first personal. Kitang-kita dito, 24 three-point attempts for San Sebastian. Talking about confidence coming from San Sebastian to take 24 shots from the outside as a team. Eh, medyo malaki talaga yun. Pero, converting 9 of those, and ito, lamang sila ng 13. So, why fix what's not broken para dito sa San Sebastian? Five of the 11 turnovers by Letran coming here in the third period. Bulanadi. Behind the back. Bulanadi gets a foul. Oh, and second personal now on Ray Nambatak. Third team foul on Letran. Napasabit, ni Alin Bulanadi. Alin Bulanadi at the line, and he misses on that free throw. Bulanadi, the second leading scorer in San Sebastian. 11 points per game. He's 61.5 free throw shooter. He splits his charities. Sa Tapawenyo na si Alin Bulanadi, Alex Mandreza comes back in. He replaces J.P. Calvo. Nambatak, Vaccaro, Andreza, Quinto, and Taladua. Lima, ni Jeff Napa, baka sa Letran. They're down by 14. Quinto has to go to work. Finds Mandreza in the middle. Mandreza was in, able to convert. David gets the rebound. Secures it for the Stags. Bulanadi seeing an opening, wanting to go to Kalisan. Last touch by Letran. Ball will stay with the Stags. 18 seconds on their shot clock. Letran fortunate. Na tapik pa nila yung bola doon. Late yung dating nila. They didn't stop the ball right away. Pero itong si Michael Kalisan taking that jumper. Alang niya na shoot sa pagkakato ng yun. Costello will fire another three. Second, yes. Bakas atres. Bakas sa bata na marigin na Ryan Costello. 
Ryan Costello, two three-pointers here in the third quarter. At ito, 17-point lead na naman ang tinitingnan ng letran. Ang bata. Wala eh. Costello tumatakbo. The bounce pass to Bulanadi gets fouled. Oh, but an unsportsmanlike wow. foul. Ang uh, sinisignal dito ng ating opisyalis. What a move there for Ryan Costello. Shooting it above the outstretched arms of Ray Nambata. Pero ito, natawagan niya ng sportsman-like foul. Si Bong Quinto sa fast break attempt ni Alin Bolanadi. And I'm sure Coach Egay Makaray very happy with what's happening right now for San Sebastian. So free throws plus possession ang mangyayari dito. Alin Bolanadi back at the line. There's Bong Quinto. Talabas si Jeff Napa, si Nambatak, Taladua, and Quinto. Two free throws here for Alin Bulanadi. Last possession. Oh, so four-point swing, possibly a five-point swing for San Sebastian, who are already leading by 18 points. Now this, this is their biggest lead. Balikan natin dito yung foul ni Bong Quinto. Tatawagan na ang sportsman like foul. Let's see if he was going for the ball or... Medyo manipis doon yung tawag ng referee. He was trying to go for the basketball. Medyo may hawi pa nga doon. Si Alin Bulanadi. It was indeed a hard foul though. David will try a three. And what a swing. Para sa San Sebastian. Free throws for Alin Bulanadi. And then that three by Jason David extends the San Sebastian lead to 22 points. Yun yung sinasabi natin. Na possibly five point swing. At nangyari nga. RK Ilagan. Setting that screen, that handoff, a handoff screen para kay David for that corner three-point basket. And David acknowledges a good pass from R.K. Ilagan. Dose puntos na for David. Another steal for the Stags. Here in the third quarter, it's been an 18-3 run para sa San Sebastian. Three minutes to go, tatlong puntos pa lang ang nalalagay sa scoreboard ng Letran. Oh, but a turnover traveling violation on Bulanadi. So, Mikey, this third quarter by San Sebastian is reminiscent of how they started this game back in the first when they oh. outscored uh, the Knights in that first quarter, 23. I'll make that 25 to 11. Alam naman natin, na nung second quarter, medyo nakahabol ang Letran, pero... To be, to be down this much, eh, mahirap yan habulin if you're Letran and yung kumpiyansa ng San Sebastian just keeps increasing. At ito, muntik na naman makasteal si David. Oh, and Ilagan, a bit shaken up, will be helped up on the floor. Father Glenn Ortega, San Sebastiano. Father Glenn Ortega, OAR, NCA Mancom Chairman. You're right. Balikan natin. Balansa, and then... Lagan. Natamaan dun sa tagiliran. Seems to be okay. Play resumes. With Calvo with the basketball. Down by 22 ang Letran. Calvo is the only starter inside. Well, along with Christian Balagasay. Bernabe, all air there. He talaga makahanap ng opensa dito ang Letran. Only three points in the third quarter. At ngayon, nakaupo pa si Bong Quinto at si Ray ng Batak. So talagang it will be JP Calvo and Jeric Balanza on the offensive end for Letran. Gayosa is back on the floor. Nasundot ni Jeric Balanza. Lagan. Off to Bulanadi. Bulanadi! Awi Bernabe na off to Calvo. Calvo will fire three. A much needed one for Letran. No since, go. Since that three-pointer of JP Calvo early in the third quarter, hindi na talaga nakapuntos dito ang Letran with two minutes left 
dito sa ating third canto. Ito to, na-trap nila dito si Arke Elagan. Pulanari will be given daylight. Yes, para sa tres. Lista mo na para kay Alin Pulanari. This is sa isma ang kinakamada. Pakatlong tres puntos na yun. When you're hot, you're hot. And the whole team is hot right now. Na-double na si Arke Elagan doon. Nahanap pa. Tres puntos pa para sa San Sebastian. Aro gets a foul, head to the line. But this San Sebastian lead has just ballooned. 25 points with a minute 27 remaining. San Sebastian, as we take a look at our Milo Nutri of the move of the quarter with an Alin Bulanati 3. 36 points coming from three point field goals for San Sebastian. Four threes in the first. Three threes in the second. Just five points away from this total output by Letran of 41 points. Sebastian, kung umuulan sa, umuulan, umuulan pa ba sa labas ngayon? Sabi ni Pong, umuulan pa rin daw. Sa loob. Dito sa loob, umuulan din ang tres. San Sebastian eh. Si Caralipio. in. Oh, Kidaria also back in. Left Napa shuffling. Kind of trying to find something to get back in this game. His team is down by 24. And they will have to start with defense. Hindi lang suerte. Suerte din itong San Sebastian. Although they're getting open shots. At yung kumpiyansa nga nila, medyo matasa talaga. So if they see the rim, clearly Titira nila yun with full confidence. Ito si Alfred Gayosa attacking that pressure defense. Out by Caralipio. Again, two free throws. Para sa San Sebastian. What a crazy run. The San Sebastian stacks are on right now. Gayosa misses on the free throw after knocking down two triples. There is Miss Gretzel Sultones, girlfriend of Alfred Gayosa. I don't want to stir anything. I don't want to see Gretzel or Alfred. Very official. Balanza. Oh, but losing the basketball still has it. Bola ay mananatili. Sa Letran, a minute and change remaining. The Knights can't catch a break here. Kahit yung mga floater na usually napapasok na ng Letran, di pa rin nila ma-shoot. If I'm not mistaken, five points pa lang sila dito sa third quarter. Palanza. Attacks. Wala pa rin para sa Letran. It's four points actually for the Knights. That three by Calvo and that single free throw by Bacaro. Gayosa, and off to Bulanadi. Bulanadi asking for that basketball. Oh, he's feeling it, especially in this third. Gayosa inside. Baitan, wala. <laughs> Justin Mercado, so may kasama na rin talagang. Oh. Buenas being at the right place at the right time. The Knights playing good defense for 22 seconds there. Kaya lang, na-rebound pa rin ang San Sebastian. At na-put back pa. Alanza will try again for three. That time he knocks it down. And finally, the Knights. And uh, natanggal din yung takip ng ring dito. Seven points in the quarter. And then naka-force pa sila ng turnover doon. Bola ulit nila with six seconds left. At papasok na si number six, Ray ng Bata. That was the uh, second field goal made only by Letran here in this third quarter. 5.6. It's in Nambatak's hands. The kick out. Kedakia, nice fake. Lumapit. Ilista mo na. To end the third. Two straight, two straight baskets there to end the third for Letran. Although nine points lang ang naipap, naipasak nila sa third quarter. So how, this is like similar to how we started the first quarter when San Sebastian outscored Letran 25 to 11. That was that basket by Calvo. It took them a while to hit an outside shot. But the Stags just kept on knocking it down. Costello and then Bulanadi. 
And a 24 to nine burst by the Stags over the Knights to end the third, fourth and final quarter when we return. Dito lamang sa NCAA on SNA.